why you should stop self-deprecating. According to the German philosopher Immanuel Kant, self-deprecation, or the tendency to disparage oneself, is morally wrong. He believed that we all have a strict and absolute duty to respect ourselves and to act in a way that upholds our own dignity. Consider this example. In everyday life, we may be tempted to undervalue or downplay ourselves in order to make our friends or superiors feel better about themselves. In fact, the social environment often rewards this behavior with acceptance, favor, or even promotion. In worst cases, we are expected to allow ourselves to be taken advantage of by others, and we are punished if we refuse to do so. According to Kant, by doing so, especially in excess, we would be violating this fundamental moral principle, even when it may generate short-term personal benefits. This is because we treat ourselves as tools for pleasing others, rather than as human beings who are ends in themselves, possessing intrinsic rather than merely instrumental value. Further, in being excessively people-pleasing, we commit servility, which is the state where we deny our equal basic human rights with others. Another manifestation of this issue is internal, the harsh, self-critical inner voice that often leads us to self-contempt. But it breaches the moral law of respecting the inherent dignity of every human being, including ourselves. This behavior not only affects the individual, but also those around them. Many people sometimes feel uneasy witnessing someone excessively belittle themselves. Based on Kant's philosophy, we can say that this discomfort arises from a deep-seated recognition that a fundamental rule of moral respect is being violated. Furthermore, Kant suggests that duties to oneself are a precondition for duties to others. If this is true, it raises concerns about whether a self-deprecating person can fully respect the dignity and equal status of others. If you like this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Your support means a lot and help me continue creating contents like this. For those interested in delving deeper into this subject, I recommend starting with Immanuel Kant's Practical Philosophy and Thomas Hill's timeless piece titled Servility and Self-Respect. To explore Kant's perspective on self-respect applied to various forms of oppression, I suggest checking out Carol Hay's book. I've included the links to these sources in the description box for your convenience. Feel free to drop down any comments or questions related to this topic. Okay, to end this video, I'd like to quote Kant's words from his lectures on ethics. He said, Nobody can demand that I should abase myself and consider myself lower than others, though we all have the right to insist that the other should not exalt himself. Although we cannot control what others think of us, we can all strive to be the best guardians of our own dignity. By doing so, we learn how to truly respect and love others. I'm Sejin Yan, a philosophical counselor. Follow for more.